here we go on another run of Darkest Dungeon 2. Fingers crossed for some interesting, uh, some interesting heroes. Text is looking crisp. Indeed. Yeah, I'm trying to think. What, uh, I, I always like a good surgeon plague doctor. Wouldn't mind a poet leper. We haven't had one of those in quite a while. Wouldn't mind going with an occultist healer, though. Just to really mix things up. Photomania Needler on our occultist is not particularly interesting. The Monarch shows up again. Oh, a melee occultist could be interesting, too. You are a stout, fussy eater, Monarch. Hmm. Uh, as we've discussed before, the thing that I am troubled with with the Monarch is that you can't use speed-related trinkets because he gains speed. Uh, so that's that's a little bit tricky. We have a Virtuoso on offer. Uh, yet another not particularly interesting. Uh, this Jester Path is the least interesting of them for me. We have a Wandering Runaway who is scrounging the sluice. Oh man. Guess who's here? I we may be we may be obligated. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like we may need to we may need to try to make the uh, the carcass work again. Uh, we have our high or our men at arms had nothing particularly interesting. Peacemaker isn't bad. Uh, the highwayman is a wanderer. We have a dead eye in our grave robber. And a Surgeon Plague Doctor. Indiscriminate science stains the surgeon's hands. Who can we put on the front row and leave there? I don't want to stack the deck too heavily against us, but... Avarice slips unseen into the catacombs of the mind. Hmm. Man at Arms with the Grave Robber in the back. The Man at Arms, I just feel like, doesn't have enough damage. Making peace with adversity is the very essence of existence. This team is gonna is gonna struggle. Hey, Zach, welcome to the stream. So, uh, things that are on offer. We have a Monarch Leper. We have a Carcass Hellion, which I am very tempting, tempted to utilize. We have a Surgeon Plague Doctor, a Dead Eye Grave Robber, and then everybody else was a Wanderer. Oh, well, I guess we've locked it in now. I was just clicking through them and then I clicked forward. Uh, well, so the leper does a lot of damage against uh, against cultists. So that's the that's the thought. But we will see. This is going to be a weird one. So I think our bread and butter attack, which we're not going to be using much. So Yop is going to be is Yop is going to be for taunt generation. We'll probably need adrenaline rush. We'll probably need if it bleeds. And we don't really need toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I don't. Well, toe-to-toe -to -toe is good for getting back into position. I don't like the Carcass Hellion. I actually think it is actively bad, Jason. Uh, Rockus. Oh yeah, we don't really have a. We don't really have a stress healer, do we? <laughs> for the record, I was not trying to fire off the. Uh, I was not trying to fire things off quite so quickly. So. Uh, not that I would ever blame uh, blame that for our impending doom, but I'm going to put Intimidate on there just in case, because I think it is still good. I think we'll go with something like that. And then over here, 
Surgeon is not going to be blighting. We're going to try not to, to make that happen. So I think probably indiscriminate and maybe magnesium. I'll leave ounce for now. But I think that's going to be our setup there. And then we're going full range damage here with pirouette to get off the front line if we need to. This is, this is going to be an interesting one. Bodica is going to be pulling taunt duty and trying to stress heal. Not a, not a good combination. But we will see. So yes, Jason, I think the Carcass Hellion is actively bad. And we are taking it because I do not like to... I like to experiment with things that are a challenge. This is a pretty off meta comp, if you ask me. So I'm very curious to see how it all goes. What did we get for trinkets? Probably a little move resist for Boudica is fine. And then... I don't really want to debuff the damage there or anywhere. So yeah, so I mean, I'm thinking uh, we're going to have kind of a two tank thing where we're going to be able to alternate between them. I always like, I would have liked Bodica to get the relationship. It's unfortunate that that went that way. But uh, yeah, I mean, Paracelsus is going to be a damage dealer primarily. Same with Audrey. We have a decently buff team. And then Baldwin, when we go after cultists, is going to be hopefully very strong. Uh, well, that was a weird little visual artifact there. But, uh, but hilarious that this team fired off uh, <laughs> due to a misclick while I was trying to show everyone what was on offer. But we got all the interesting paths, and I think this team works, so it'll be interesting to see. Oh, Zach, your message didn't show up for some reason. That's interesting. Uh, I do see it there. Yeah, the, the cultists have, have become quite uh, quite a bit more manageable ever since we started our own cult. <laughs> let's see, we're not going to get there on you. So let's just... Uh, I believe they are, Jason. Uh, the Shambler... Uh, I don't know about the final boss. We we, we need to check that one out. Uh, I gave her a move resist trinket, too. Grumble. Let's see. So I probably should be using the Leper to stack Vulnerable here. Yeah, the relationship is kind of insane there. Uh, wait, let me let me try and remember. Okay. Yeah, the those two are are we almost had a relationship before the inn. That would be kind of hilarious. So uh so inscription so Zach, I have an interesting perspective on inscription. I watched some people play it. I think it is it looks beautiful, first of all. Like I think the developers did an insanely good job with inscription and it looks great. The the actual like card game itself did not uh, capture my uh, did not capture my imagination that much, unfortunately. Now this is interesting. Where are we going first of all? Oh, the early sluice. You love to see it. No, you don't. So what is our first? I mean, so Rockus Revelry doesn't get better for anyone other than the Hellion. Which is which makes it a pretty hard sell if you ask me, uh, but I can, think it's probably still the no play. Meaning, if indeed it ever did. And then I think smoke bombs are always are always the way. And then we'll save the rest of our money. And then for food, I think I'll just I'll do my I'll do my front ranks. They're going to be the ones taunting up generally. And then Grave Robber can take these. Put some some of those there. Nobody needs the stress heal. 
I don't know. I think I think early sluice is a uh, is a dangerous one to say the least, Zach. I uh, I am always a little concerned and skeptical. So let's see. I think I think raucous revelry is not that valuable. It has the potential to rob, although I don't know that I've ever seen it uh, do it. So maybe maybe that's a no. Ounce of prevention is pretty strong in the first area. There's there's also a temptation just to grab incision. It's it's a lot of damage uh, and a big big bleed. I think I'm gonna go with poison dart. I think we're gonna be using that like a hundred percent of the time, and that will get us going. Hey, non-zero, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Zach, no worries. But yeah, so anyways, getting back to inscription while we get started, I. I have not found the actual deck building aspect of the game from what I've watched. Uh, it never looked particularly rewarding in terms of like the actual game being challenging. Uh, oh, I appreciate the lurks for sure, non-zero. All right, three identical options. We'll just go for the middle. I think that the middle provides the illusion of more potential options downstream. But uh, we will see. Oh, good. These two are going to be taking a taking a hit. I'd rather fight. It it has a really cool aesthetic to it. What are, what are your thoughts, non zero, on like the challenge level of the of the card game itself? For, for all the, the value here, I'm a little disappointed by the Plague Doctor's uh, bomb droppings so far. Bomb dropping sounds like an awful way to describe that. Okay, maybe we'll have to add it to the list. I don't know. I actually don't know that it's even been recommended in the game suggestion channel of the Discord, which is kind of surprising. Ah, the worries. Fantastic. I love card-based games. I uh, I generally am just looking for challenge out of them. That would be that would be the one thing. Is I like I like a game that has a good amount of challenge to it. And inscription, it seemed like the the actual difficulty of the game was uh, was not fully there, but that that could just be me being absolutely wrong. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> oh, Zach, the uh, the the best options will always float to the surface. That's the idea. So we're just gonna yop again. Oh, yop has a cooldown. I had forgotten that. Okay, we're gonna have to think a bit more about uh, about our options. This is frustrating. Uh, okay, hopefully this hue will get us at least one kill. All right. Do this for the relationship. Puzzle solving? Okay. I didn't I didn't watch anyone play it that closely. So admittedly It's it's possible that there's a lot more in there. After you beat the game, there's a free mod slash DLC that makes it more challenging. Oh interesting. The hues are just coming in big right now. But yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need another option for uh, for taunt generation out of Boudica, which unfortunately is probably gonna be is probably gonna be toe to toe. I think that's her only other taunt generator. Yeah, so we may we may do an actual. Uh, Darkest Dungeon in the Cult of or Cult of the Lamb in the Darkest Dungeon mod? That's amazing. Hey, Dark Mage. 
Welcome to the stream. It's awesome that you were able to swing by. Perhaps you are finding your courage. That's that's fair non-zero. But uh, yeah, if if someone wants to add it to the game suggestions in the uh, in the Discord, I'm always open. I think I'm probably maybe as early as next week going to be pulling a game off of the list. So so we may have something new. Yeah, so so the idea of Bodica in rank two, to, to be specific here, is the value of rank two is there's a fair number of skills that are specifically designed to hit rank two through th two through four. And so a lot of times taunt in rank one doesn't do good, and Bodica's a carcass. So the the thought here is that we can alright, we're gonna damage these two's relationship. The thought is, is that Bodica will get more... will take more damage this way. Uh, whether that ends up being true or not, it, you know, only time will tell. I'm gonna do this to strip away some, uh... some of the goods, and then I am... Um, let's, let's see if we can get this guy on a Skitter Plus type of thing. Okay, good resist on the, on that. Yes, she is a carcass. So I am a I am a glutton for punishment. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Rob. Appreciate it. Let's see. Let's uh, we're gonna yop it up. And then, given that we're double blinded here, I think uh, I think we just try and try and knock some off with uh. Try and knock that off and get some weeks going. Having extra taunts up front is not bad. Honestly, the leper is better at negating stress. Uh, I haven't either, Dark, so this is gonna be it's gonna be a fun one. Just waiting and seeing. But Surgeon Plague Doctor is super fun as well. Let's see. Ooh, nice hit. Very nice hit. Wow. But yeah, our party stress healing is going to be... Oh yeah, I love Surgeon Plague Doctors, Dark. I, I love them indeed. Alright, well, we go for the zero with the bleed. Okay. No love. Oh, the yips. I did not realize that we had the yips uh, hanging out on our, on our grave robber, although she seems unconcerned with them. The accidental team that uh that could be that could be solid. I was also thinking of going with uh, yeah we can't we can't do that. We'll just do that. Uh, my my tweet today I was pretty proud of, which was uh, moderately well lit but spooky Oregon Trail, better known as Darkest Dungeon. That was my uh, that was my contribution. What's your twenty five percent death store? Ooh, the eighteen. Well, we we certainly got dots going on. That's for sure. So, so Zach, that's been uh, that's been my my experience with it, which I think is what makes it what makes it a little hard. Is you know, it seems like this amazing kind of like story based stylistic type of thing. Do we care about our plague doctor going later? I don't think I do. I'm gonna let the plague doctor uh, go a little slower. Uh, Boudica has the worries. Oh, I didn't realize you can mouse over to see the actual, uh, the actual result there. That's a lovely little quality of life thing. What, uh, what gave you... Oh, head injury. Delightful. We, uh, we need ourselves some hospitals. Uh, Audrey is a great is a dead eye. And we also have a monarch in Baldwin. So everybody is pathed up. Which uh, which I'm happy about. And an interesting combination of paths. Uh, monarch is a weird one. I uh, 
Monarch is in the same category of, as Carcass, where I'm like, I don't know if this is good. <laughs> I, I think this might be bad, is my, uh, is my, my fear. Yeah, Monarch, the, it's the speed that really messes with the Monarch, in my experience. But, you know, I'm still, I'm still down to, down to try things out. I think this is an interesting team. Not, would never claim that it was a good team by any means. Uh, let's see, I guess we'll, we'll do this just to buy some time, even though Baldwin's not going to have many options. Baldwin, one of Baldwin's skills upgrades to have a stealth detection component. We might have wanted to grab that heading into this. That's, I think that's the thought, Rob, but the problem is a lot of the strongest, uh, a lot of the strongest tokens that you could potentially be, uh, or a lot of the strongest trinkets that you could potentially be utilizing have a speed component to them. Yeah, I don't mind the Plague Doctor going slowly. Gives us the ability to clean up some of the rabble. Oh. But yeah, I think that's definitely the vision. The The problem is... Hello. That was spicy. So this is... Okay, so let's talk about this for a second. We just got crit on our carcass, which is great, right? We should have gotten... 75% uh, of the time, we should have gotten a stress heal. The problem is, even though... So first of all, we did not get the stress heal, which is its own problem. But second, the rest of the party is still taking about the same amount of damage that the carcass is healing, which is problematic. Oh, this is going to be a nice big hit. <laughs> that explains everything, Zach. Pretty much. Intimidate removes stealth only when upgraded, I believe. So yeah, I think that that's, that's something we might want to take a look at. And then I think Bodica is going gonna, is gonna to take that that new trinket that we just picked up because I don't mind... Oh, we already gave her the bouncer's belt. Actually, yeah, I'll give... I'll put this here, give this to Baldwin since it's most likely that we're going to take uh, take stuns on the front rank. Yeah, just just normal it doesn't do anything. But yeah, I think that that is the skill that was in the back of my head. And actually, hold on. We uh, we should do combat items because I've been kind of ignoring them. Might as well. I'll probably just use that on a barbaric yop if I'm being honest. All right, at least everybody agrees. I think Bodica has been struggling to make friends, so let's go with that. I dig, I dig that a lot. Uh, the the timing here is is not my favorite. Shroud on the coast, maybe maybe we're onto something. Maybe we finally figured it out. We finally cracked the code. Oh, it removes stealth. Uh, Barbaric Yop removes stealth too. What a time to be alive. And coming in at the end is our Plague Doctor. Hey, Josh, welcome to stream. Good to see you. This war of mine. Uh, I have, to be perfectly honest, I have never even heard of it. Uh, but I'm, I'm intrigued. Uh, I'm I'm very open to playing just about any game. To to be honest, I I'm not a huge like Twitch reflexes type of player. So yeah, I'll do this to remove the stealth so that our plague doctor can uh, can put in the final one. But yeah, it's never even come across my uh, come across my radar. Heavy in terms of like time investment, Rob, or heavy in terms of subject matter. Or both. 
and blaze the trail to your redemption. So we're getting hooked up on on baubles and trinkets, but the mastery is not uh, is not flowing so far. It's a Polish game. You play as a group of civilians trying to survive a civil war. Okay. Oh, Papers, Please is a great one. That one I am definitely familiar with. So let's see. We could do the cultists, hoping for a cultist trinket. The academic study is always tempting. I'm very tempted by get, trying to get the early cultists out of the way. But that might be greedy. Especially since we can get... The academic study could yield some good results, too, and we get a fight associated with it. How far in are we? 15 leagues, so we probably have two more interaction points. Let's hold off on the cultist. Now that you don't get a guaranteed trinket, it's not as, uh... Oh, that worked. That was exactly the opposite of what I expected it was going to be. For science, indeed, Rob. I don't like where Audrey and Bodica are. Bodica at least has the ability with Raucus to get some pretty good work done. I kind of want to do the cultist just so I could see uh, our leper pop off, but... Bummer there, but that's okay. This, this particular combination makes it particularly difficult to strip away all of the uh, the weakness because we don't have a lot of options. Or excuse me, strip away the dodge. We don't have a lot of options there. I'd rather, I'd rather our leper take all the hits. This should be gore, I think. Oh no, guess he can smash from rank two. I was going to say, a crit is a kill here, so I like the idea of removing them. So far, this team is, uh, isn't bad. I'm going to keep stacking, keep stacking the Intimidate and also putting up some Vulnerable and some Weak to try and keep him under control. I don't really want to waste the vulnerable on a zero hit. Raucous is garbage, though, too. This is where I get into trouble. I think we probably need toe-to-toe, -to -toe, because I want to keep her taunt up, but... 10 to 19, we get the min roll and no bleed. A real-time tactical game? Yeah, I would, Jason, for sure. Uh, in fact, on the list on the discord is uh is ftl and i've watched some people play ftl with no pause as a uh as a limitation and it it seems interesting to me same same thing with rimworld i would potentially play rimworld as a uh as a no pause game the stress is getting a little a little spicy here. I have no problems with pausing any. I'm just saying that I'm not married to the idea of not pausing. Alright, well at least we get some value out of Raucous here. Even if it's unupgraded. Oh yeah, no no question any. I think, uh, oh my gosh, the stress. All right, everybody's basically dead. Wait, do I not have Solemnity on my bar? Wow, that was an error. Huh. Whoops. What a, what a bizarre omission. How did I do that? Hmm. I'll do this for friendship, but, uh... Yeah, Solemnity, leaving Purge and not Solemnity seems like, uh, like a very bad decision to have made.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. This doesn't yield any stress healing, unfortunately. You're already dead. Yeah, extremely already dead. How nice it would have been to have had the option for, uh, for a little solemnity or two. No mastery. Ah, greater protectorate. That was the trinket that was offered for the, the feeder, interestingly. That's an easy put there. And then let's make sure that, yeah. Yes, somehow I, I took Solemnity off the bar. And then I think Wicked Hack is garbage, so I'm going to just put that there. And then, yeah, we don't have any other stress healing for now. So on we go. Yeah, apparently the game really wanted me to have it. I'm, I'm never going to complain about that. But we are we're fast running out of runway to get our mastery sorted here. Well, everybody agrees we're doing no science. Go figure. But we're, we're kind of hoping that there's not too much damage. Uh, there have been lots of hotfixes, Rose, but nothing since the cultists uh, were added. So ever since the exemplar was added, that's kind of it. And I think we are done. And this is... This is more what I expect from a from a sluice, unfortunately. Pretty pretty middling amount of of mastery. We did have a run where we had five, which was pretty good. Oh good, sluice scrounger, just in time. Paracelsus getting field surgeon though is money in the bank. And Pudika getting torn rotator cuff. We don't care. I I would expect uh, an update in September, actually. Rob, uh, not to be too, too overly optimistic, but I think we probably are going to find ourselves with one. And then let's see, you picked up the Yips book burner, man, so many bad things. Uh, I think getting rid of, oh, uh, I can't, I can't use the wild tea. The 25% chance of losing field surgeon would be too terrible. So that's, that's what I was going to say, Dark Mage, is that the bounty hunter is listed in the same set of milestones that included the cultist rework. So I think it is relatively safe to assume that the new character is on the horizon. Roast pig, we insta-lock. I'm going to grab the meditative totem too, because it has, it has no downside. So hypothetically, we could get rid of head injury without any fear. And then as nice as Clotter is, getting rid of the yips would be big. Oh, man. Yeah, we did. And we did lose Clotter too, but that's okay. Uh, so that's, that's only a rumor, Dark. It's not, uh, it's not a guarantee, but the bounty hunter was data mined when the game first came out. So it, it, it was the only character that was included in the list, basically. So my suspicion is that it might be. So I think, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Raucous Revelry is good enough and getting Dead of Night means that we have a way to handle stress on Audrey because right now we don't have any answer to stress on Audrey. It's a weird choice with one mastery, but I think that's what I'm going to go for. Then over here on the Wainwright, medical equipment is great. Strongbox is solid. So that's all good. We're also sitting on an extra smoke bomb, which is pretty decent. Should have checked where we were going first. Oh yeah. Sprawl is an easy lock. Praise the sun is great. Spelunk is great. We're not going infernal on our carcass run. Uh, so I think I can probably get rid of that entirely. So the bouncer's belt is, I don't think worth the investment, but there's a temptation there. And then we haven't done food. I think I think we just do that. And then if we're going to the, the sprawl, we can hang on to the clotting pool stis, I think. But yeah, I don't think the bouncer's belt is good enough. The Icker Bomb. The Icker Bomb for the Librarian could be decent, but I think we'll uh, we'll just go with this. Alright, let's uh let's get the dartboard. I I just I don't think it's worth it's worth. So you get the stress heal, which we don't need. 
you get 2% crit, which I think is pretty marginal, and the 75-25, I lose those flips each and every time. So I think we just go for it. Let's get let's get rolling. I like where our baubles are though. <laughs> 